go back to your 10 minutes on your mat. Thank you for coming back and for sharing your practice with me. Today we're going to start in double fire a log leg. So we're just jumping right in. Um, and we'll start with our right leg on top of our left. So find yourself in a seat and then bring your left leg as parallel as it can go. So your knee's about a 90 degree angle. And then you'll take that right ankle and stack it on top of your left knee. We're focusing on flexing both of our feet here and also keeping a nice strong core. Okay, so if you feel like you're slouching or rounding the spine, see if you can engage your low belly and keep this nice strong back here. There might be a big gap here between your knee and your, um, your ankle, and that's totally fine. If this is really, really not working for you, um, you can do a cross-legged, maybe you're working on crossing your ankles, just cross the right ankle in front of the left. So wherever you are, we'll take about three more breaths here. Take your right hand and hold on to the outside edge of your right foot. And then we're going to take a seated half happy baby. I like to hold on to my left knee with my hand just for support. Uh, again, we're thinking about engaging our low belly. You're just drawing that right knee back, kind of like you would if you were drawing a bow. So you can pretend that you're drawing a bow with your toes <laughs> or your hand and your foot is the string and you're pulling it back towards your shoulder. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's switch out our legs. So stack the right leg underneath the left leg. So bring that right shin as parallel as you can and then take your left ankle and stack it on top of your right knee. And we're flexing both of our feet. Um, I like to sometimes pull some of that flesh out from underneath my sit bones just to square things out a little bit. Wherever you're at, just breathe. And again, there might be a huge space this time, if you're doing the cross-legged um, variation, your left ankle will be in front of your right. Lots of options. And if neither of those are working, just kind of find a little, a butterfly pose would also um, be beneficial here. Let's do one more breath wherever you are. And then take your left hand your left foot into your left hand, that half happy baby. We're engaging our core here, pulling our foot back as if we were pulling a bowstring. And then go ahead and release, turn sideways so you can see. Take the soles of your feet about your distance apart and then bring your hands back behind you so you can lean back, windshield wiper your legs side to side. Cross your ankles, rock forward, hands and knees. From hands and knees, step your right foot to the outside edge of your right hand. So both of your hands are to the inside of your right leg. And then play with spiraling that right foot open to the right, kind of gazing to the right. And then bring your right toes back towards the top of your mat, gazes forward. All right, we'll do that again. Spiral your right foot open to the right, gaze to the right. And then draw your right toes forward, your gaze. One more inhale here. Take your hands a little bit in front of your right foot and heel toe your right foot all the way over to the left. 
as far over as you can. Then lower your right knee down to the mat, pigeon pose. Mm -hmm. Take your time to get there. Adjust as you need. Pressing into your palms. Notice here, are you shifting your weight way over to the right? Can you find a little equal, a little equal pressure here on the right and left side? Maybe you keep the hips elevated or the chest elevated, um, or maybe you lower down to your forearms. Maybe you're even able to lower down to bring your forehead to your palms or to the mat. Three more breaths here, wherever you are. Bring your hands under your shoulders if they're not already. Press the heart and chest up. Shift your weight over to the right. And swing your left leg all the way around to plant on the outside of your right thigh. Yeah, so just swing your leg around. Take your right arm and hug your left knee into your chest as you twist towards the left, gaze towards the left. Really hug your knee into your chest. Slowly come all the way back around, unwind. Rotate your left foot towards the right a little bit Hands frame your left foot. We're going to press up to stand. So press down to begin to stand. Keep that right knee tucked in nice and tight. However you need to, we're moving up to standing to dasana with that right knee drawn in. Yeah, big, huge transition. Extend that right leg out and lower it down. Beautiful. Let's come down onto our hands and knees. From hands and knees, step your left foot to the outside edge of your hand. First, we'll do play with opening your left foot up to the left. Look forward, or look to the left. Take your left toes, point them forward, look forward. One more time, look. Move your body to the left, your toes to the left, gaze to the left. Take your gaze forward, toes forward. Bring your hands in front of your left foot, heel toe that foot all the way over to the right, lowering down for a pigeon pose. You can stay lifted, you can lower down onto your elbow, maybe you lower down onto your forehead or stacking your palms. Checking in, making sure you're not leaning too far over to the left, and stay with equal amounts of pressure on both sides. And then slowly, if you're folded, press back up to your palms. This time, shift your weight over to the left so you can do that big swing. Swing your right leg all the way around. And I'm going to rotate <laughs> so I have space in the wall so that your right leg is on the outside edge of your left knee. Hug your left knee into your chest and find a twist, opening up to the right. Slowly unwind, bring your hands down to the ground, press into your right foot, press into your left thigh, and begin to slowly rise up. Drawing your left knee into your chest. For one leg into dasana. And then release that foot down to the mat. Beautiful. Bring your hips, your heels in, toes out, hips wide. Sink those hips all the way down as far as you can for Malasana. Yogi squat. Elbows. Press into your inner thighs, or your inner knees, and your knees press into your own. 